Well, guys, I'm going to show you something to keep an eye out for when you're working on these old cars. Um, I primarily work on new stuff, as a lot of you know, and so this is my, pretty much my first go around with something really old. Had to work with rust. But I've uh, been working on sanding these rust specks out. You know, and periodically on new cars, we run into these, you know, in the lower parts of cars because there's rock chips and you know, get little rust specks like that, so you just gotta sand to make sure you get it out. And if you sand on it long enough with the 80 grit, you'll get most of it out of there. There's still a few little specks. And ideally, you wanna get all of that out of there. Because, you know, rust is just like cancer. If you don't get it all out, it's gonna come back. But, um, up here, I had a couple of specks that I kept sanding and sanding, and I was like, what the heck? You know, I hope those aren't rust holes, and sure enough, it was. I got my screwdriver, and I poked into this one first. It popped a little hole. And I got this one here, and it's an even bigger hole. Pushed it all the way through there, so. You find a little speck that, you know, maybe looks... Uh, let's see if I can find one. Well, there's not any more of them, but, you know, it, it kind of looked like one of these, but it was darker, had little pits in it. That's what those two look like. So, if you see something like those there, and you keep sanding the sand and they don't come out of there, and before you go too long, you might get your little pick or a tiny screwdriver or something, just poke at it, see if it pokes through. And uh, since this has rusted through the back side, the metal is probably thin all the way out around there. So, chances are it's going to have to be cut out all down into here and screw up all the body work I've already done because by the time you weld it, it's going to warp it again. But that's life. I just need to start going over the whole thing and inspecting it better. But, like I said, this is my first time with an old car, so live and learn. Hope this helps you guys out. Have a good day.